is it? Oh, that was cold. Holy buckets. Yeah, it ain't warm. Dude, are you serious? You're kidding me. I told you, dude. Bobber down. <laughs> I haven't even started fishing. I'm still taking. Here's your stupid bobber. Ah! What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. I'm not sure if the title says it down below, but we are back out at JR's Corner out at Red Lake. The walleyes have absolutely been on fire here, so we just. We had to make a trip back up, and honestly, it's some of the only ice we have here in Minnesota, so. Another badass thing. Check this out. You've probably seen it already. We are staying. Dude, are we like, technically we might be like the first people like in the world sleeping. On ice. Like in a permanent on the ice right now, yeah. actually fishing on the ice and not on shore. Really quick before we start, I do want to give the hugest shout out to JR's Corner. These houses are freaking huge, nice and cozy. The people are awesome and honestly without jr's corner this video in particular like wouldn't even be happening so yeah shout out jr's corner and uh i think i better get to fishing you guys probably already seen it i'm over here like setting up all my stuff and brock caught a fish already and has missed like three we are all dialed y'all in this hole, I got myself just a little, uh, like, dead stick. I just got an octopus hook with a shiner on it. And then over here, I think I'm going to... I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to use this all day, but I'm going to start out with a little 8th ounce Z-Viber in that pink, pink chrome color. But one more thing really quick. I haven't filmed a video in, like, a hard-sided fish house in a year now. So, bear with me. I'm not sure how I'm going to film this whole thing. I'm probably just going to kind of set up cameras everywhere so if the audio is a little you know different than some clips just bear with me <laughs> expectations well we already got one and we were here for five minutes i think it's gonna be pretty good i think we're gonna catch a lot of fish fish are always biting on red i think so too we're gonna get them stay tuned next clip is gonna be me catching a walleye oh man we are hooked up oh my one hook Oh, I got one too. You got one too? Yep. I'm hooked in the head. Doubled up. Meanwhile. What a way to start it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what? Psych. What? There you have it, y'all. That did not take very long. I was actually rigging up another bait and looked over and the dead stick was freaking doubled over. First walleye of the trip. This could maybe be an eater, but we're going to let it go. Can't keep the first walleye of the trip, so. Yeah, let's let them go, let them grow. Fish down there. Yeah, I just got it. Stuff is just going on. Things are happening. Things are happening. You turn that graph on. Over. Oh, got one on me. What's happening? You grab something. Mm -hmm. You want that graph on me? Whoa! <laughs> Dude. Shut up. Bro. This is gonna be a crazy freaking night. Yeah. You can't even do anything, guys. It's one o'clock, too. This is a perfect eater, right? Eh? Yeah, uh huh. This is what we're looking for for eaters. Look at that tasty little thing. <laughs> My bobber's going crazy. You can do it for anything, man. It's been an hour. <laughs> we're delirious. <laughs> <laughs> Little update, y'all. It is just about prime time here in about 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to take down the big camera for now and just run the GoPro. And I'm going to put my, my big camera on my graph so you guys can get a little graph cam action. Hopefully, we absolutely smash some walleyes. And after, we're going to cook some up for you. So, yeah, stay tuned. Commence the walleye smashing. Oh, yeah. God, dude, just high stick the ceiling hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that graph cam. You really dick that. Oh, racing. Oh, sick. Let me tell you, man. 
Whoa. Is it big? Pike? I don't know. Did it up it? I don't know, dude. I'm freaking out. Is it real? Blinds out? Turn on your leg. Yeah. Oh, no, dude. What is it? Dude. I don't know. I think it's a walleye, but I think it got snagged in the tail somehow. What? Look it. Is that what's happening? It's a big walleye. It's a good one, dude. <laughs> dude, it got snagged in the tail somehow. What? Yeah. It came. Okay. I was trying to say something, but I couldn't spit the words out. It came from above me. Yeah, that's a good one, man. I know, but how am I going to grab him? I got him. This thing's freaking tanker. Yeah, dude. that's a nice... He snagged in the tail, literally. I've never done that before in my life. I just snagged a walleye in the tail. That's weird. That's a fatty. Definitely way too big. Oh, red a reel. Red a reel. Red a reel's down. I gotta go. I gotta go. 22 inches. 22? It's happening, dudes. Is he down? Yeah. Set it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go right here. I'm getting back to it. Dude, I'm cold. Over. Not anymore. Over. <laughs> I love my life. Over. Oh, Markin. Markin. Dude, he missed me and just did. He'll come back. That was stupid. Like, I didn't skip. Oh, he's on my dead stick. He's on my dead stick. There he is. Got him. Doubled up. I got yeah. one. Murray's got one. Things are oh, going crazy. Stuck on my tip. <laughs> we got four fish. I don't think we're going to keep anything okay. else. <laughs> Another perfect eater but we got three walleyes now is there three in there four four okay we got four walleyes to to eat so we do not need this one and yeah four is really i really only wanted to clean three but i'll clean four we'll be fine. welcome back y'all it is complete darkness out here and uh if any of you guys have ever fished red lake most of the time once it gets dark out here uh the bite typically like shuts off we're still marking a few fish here and there but they're not too aggressive we have heard of some people uh getting on some night bites here actually this year but i have never experienced that so uh we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna start chopping up these walleyes and we're gonna start cooking them because we're starving stay tuned you ever seen anybody clean walleyes on the top of a bucket before because they forgot their cutting board and they're full-time youtubers but they suck at their job hi my name is Murda. <laughs> American? No. If you caught one while I was doing this, it'd be so cool. Want to do me a favor, Brad? While I'm cleaning these, you want to wash those? They can wash them. Yeah. In a hole? It sucks. So, have fun with that. Whoa! Shit! <laughs> scared myself. Get the pan ripping, get some grease going. Glad I can feel my fingers. Glad you can't feel your fingers. Yeah, that part sucks, huh? It's my worst. That's that's literally my least favorite part about catching cooks. That's why I was like, hey, while I'm doing this, you wanna do that for me? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to show y'all. Obviously, we're ripping the shore lunch, Cajun, my favorite. Oh, we got half of these chunked up into little niblets. I'm just gonna put half in there for now. Yeah, yeah. yeah Brock, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Batch number two. American? Quick look, see to see if this grease is ready. Oh my God. This is totally ready. Might even be a little bit too hot. I'm used to mine. Eh. I think that's good. It's pretty little chunks. They don't really have to cook too long. Stay tuned, y'all. This is gonna be so got ang delicious. First batch is done. Brack. Go in for a piece. Scale one to ten. How fires the Cajun? Twelve, Emma. 
Is it? It's hot. Let me go in. Mmm! We caught these! So goddamn good. Mm. Oh my god. Stay tuned, y'all. Second batch is almost done. I hope it's bright enough in here also. I hope it's, the footage isn't too grainy. Camera's off. Is this camera on? Dude, I don't know if any cameras are on. Camera's off. That's a long one. Camera's off, but second batch is just about to come off. Like right now. What? Rattle the heck? Rattle real baby. This is so cool. Living the dream, dude. All right, y'all. First batch, second batch. They look phenomenal. Anyway, y'all, like I mentioned, like, the bite's pretty slow once it gets dark here on Red Lake. I think it's just because of the water clarity here, especially early ice. It's just so bad. So, not sure how many more fish we are about to catch. Get yourself and that fish yeah if we do catch some fish i'll make sure to pull the camera out but yeah we're pretty much just gonna be kind of kicking it until morning and then we're gonna get right back on the on the well eyes so we're gonna crush this stay tuned we'll see you at some point brock has got the hot hole oh my god is it good i don't think so man I don't think so. Oh, we got a freaking eater that we're not going to eat because we already ate. Time. That's a good end, buddy. Woohoo! I think we found the hot hole. Dude, we are catching fish. I am just calling them in with a giant Z Viber, and Brock is capitalizing. Oh, dude, this one we might have to keep. Instant, dude. Well, uh... How many fish last night? hundred? Dude, it was insane. A hundred. How many this morning? One. <laughs> Good morning, America. Like, Canada. Thailand. We're all over the place. What's up, guys? <laughs> I have no clue what you guys all seen last night. I, I definitely did not film even close to all the fish we caught. But holy buckets was JR's Corner absolutely smashing last night last night i had my literally my best ever night fishing on red lake i usually never do good at night and me and brock just went back and forth hammer housing walleyes until like two in the morning it, it was so damn fun but anyways y'all i think we're going to end this video here i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video we had an absolute blast making it i'm so excited to be freaking sleeping in the hard sided fish houses again definitely stay tuned for more hard side fish house videos by the way i'm gonna try my best to just camp around in these things pretty much all winter anyways y'all one more time huge shout out to jr's corner i will link all their stuff down below in my description if you guys want to get yourselves on an awesome walleye bite definitely go to red lake and hit up jr's corner go check out b-rock outdoors he's being a gangster over there go check out fish and more merch and that's it peace see you next time